Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make a simple outro for your YouTube videos like this. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. First, we need some files for the content of our outro. So, these two versions of bell icon right here. Then, our logo. These two versions of subscribe button and the name of our channel and the background image. Plus, some sound effects and music to make it more cool. I will put the link in the description below if you want to download these files. Alright. Let us now open the Adobe Premiere Pro. Then select New Project. Choose the location where you want to save your video. Then click the File menu, select New, then Sequence. Click Settings, then choose HDB 720p. This will set the resolution of our video to 1280 by 720p. Then click OK. We can now import our files. Double click on the project panel to import files or you can simply drag them to project panel. We will put our background image first to the timeline. Let's keep it short because it's just an outro. Then the logo and the red subscribe button. To adjust the size of the image, go to Effect Controls. Then under Motion Effects, select Scale and adjust the image according to your preference. Adjust the subscribe button as well. Now it's time to animate these things up. We want to achieve the animation that I've showed you in the beginning of this video. To do that, we need to set the start and the ending position of our logo and the subscribe button. You can write them for you to remember. Okay, so this would be the starting position of our subscribe button. Then next is the ending position. Alright, so this is the ending position of our subscribe button. Next is the logo. But this time, we are in the opposite position.
Then adjust the frames closer to each other to make a fast movement in position. Okay, let's move on to the second part. We will hide the entrance of the logo and the subscribe button using crop effect. To apply this, go to effects panel by clicking these two arrow right here, then search for crop. And drag it to our logo and subscribe button. So let's start with the subscribe button. The goal is to hide the entire icon, then reveal it as it is moving towards the end position. Since it is moving from the left to right, we will set the crap effect to 100% on the left while we are on the starting position, and the end position to 0% to reveal the object. For the logo, set the crop effect to 100% on the right while we are on the starting position, then 0% on the end position. We will set the duration of the crop effect to 15 frames based on the duration of the motion effect. Next, we will split the subscribe button when it reach the end position. Because we will be applying a different effects to the object, that's why we need to separate it from the first one. To make a tilt effect, go to effects panel and search for perspective. Then click the basic 3D effect and drag it to the second part of the subscribe button. Then go to effect controls panel and adjust the tilt effect to negative 90 degrees. It will make a backward tilt effect to our object. Make it 6 frames away from the starting position, then cut it when it reaches the end. We will now add the gray subscribe button to our timeline. Adjust the location the same with the red one. Then go to effects panel and adjust the basic 3D effect, adjust it, but this time we will make it positive 90 degrees on the starting position and 0 to the ending position. Then go back to project panel and add the empty bell icon, right after the animation of the gray subscribe button. Adjust the size and the position to effect controls under motion effects. Then after a few seconds, cut it and add the second bell icon. Adjust the size and the position the same with the first one. We will add a cross dissolve on these two objects to add a smooth transition. On the effects panel, go to Video Transitions, Dissolve, then choose Cross Dissolve. Click and drag it right on the beginning of the bell icon. Hit Enter to start rendering so that we can play it to see the effects we applied. Now it's time to add the sound effects to our video. On the project panel, click and drag the whoosh sound to our timeline.
But the sound is quite faster than our animation. So right click on it, then select speed duration, then slow it down to 50%. If the sound doesn't match with the timing of the animation, cutting the unnecessary parts will fix the issue. The next is the mouse click sound effect. Drag it to the timeline and match it with the subscribe button animation. Next is the small bell sound effect. Drag it to the timeline and match it with the bell icon. Next is the background music. Drag it to the timeline and remove the unnecessary parts by trimming and deleting them. Adjust the length of the music and align it with the video. The video is supposed to be short so 8 seconds is enough. Now let's add the name of our channel on the top of the subscribe button right after the animation. Now we're done. We can now save it. Hold Ctrl plus M to open export settings. Make sure that the format is H.264 and choose where you want to save it then click export. Wait until the encoding process is done. Then there you go. This is our YouTube outro video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.